on the number line below which point more closely represents the principal root of 43, or you could view it as the positive square root of 43. And I encourage you to pause this video and just looking at this, try to approximate where A is and where B is, and let's think about which of those numbers is closer to the principal root of 43. So let's go through each of them. So point A right over there, it looks a little bit more than halfway along the way between 6.5 and 6.6. .6. Halfway, halfway looks like it's right, right over there. So that would be 6.55. So I would estimate A to be approximately, A looks like it's approximately 6.56. A, it looks like it's approximately 6.56. So let's square that and see what we get. So 6.56 times 6.56. And obviously, if you had a calculator, you could just punch the square root of 43 in, but we don't want to do that, or, or this exercise doesn't want us to do that, so I'm not going to use a calculator for it. So 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 3 is 33. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 3 is 39. Now let's... You think about this 5. So let's throw a 0 here. 5 times 6 is 30. Put a 3 up there. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3 is 28. 28. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 2 is 32. And then we got another 6 here. Well, we already figured out what 6 times 6, 5, 6 is. It's 3, 9, 3, 6. So let's throw our two zeros here. And we're going to have a 6, a 3, a 9, and a 3. And now we can add everything together. And we get 6, 3, let's see, 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 6 is 23. And let's see, 2 plus 3 is, 2 plus 3 is 5. Another 5, you get 10. And let's see, this is 13. So you get 4, let's see, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers behind the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this gets us to 43.033. Six. So this is pretty close to 43. This is pretty, 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 pretty close to 43. Without even thinking about what b squared is, I'm, I'm already predisposed to saying that a is going to be closer. But let's just try. Let's just think about where b is. Actually, we don't even have to look. We don't even have to look at b because a is pretty close, and it is already a squared is already larger. Let me write this. So a squared, if we approximate it right. At 6.56, so let me write this down, 6.56 squared, 6.56 squared, which is 43.0336, is already greater than, is already greater than 43. Or another way of saying it, 6.56 is already greater than the principal root of 43. So A looks like it's already, it's, it's pretty close and it's already, if anything, it's a little bit larger than the square root of 43. So B is going to be that much, is, B is larger than A. So B is going to get us even further above. If we square B, we're going to get even further above 43. So we can rule out B and that saves us a lot of computation. And so we're going to go with A. A is a pretty good approximation of the square root of, the square root of 43.